Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, the next one is love makes you vulnerable to the cold. Love becomes you outside in a snowstorm, in a shaky wobbly glow where there's no control, where you stand naked in bitter wind searching for what has been called. Okay, that phrase to me is saying love makes you take chances hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a silent treat video and a snacking video so this is the book i'm reading a christmas carol and i'm going to be snacking with all this popcorn cheese balls um gala biscuits and sweets it's part of our christmas ms fair challenge so i hope you guys join me in this silent read okay so these are all the snacks i'm using okay and then i have my water with me <laughs> So guys stick along with me it's a silent read okay so at the ending of the video i'm going to talk about like what i've read so far and how you know this book can relate with us okay enjoy guys
I'll continue eating the popcorn later while I'm still in it. But I just want to like round up the video and share with you guys some phrases that I've read so far that I think that everybody should know. First is phrases about love, then phrases about divorce. Um, book and the idea of it in this book or from this book. First phrase here that I want to share with you guys is you cannot plan for love. You cannot choose against it once you come. True love doesn't end once another steps away. You know, it's really this just shows me how we really can't plan for love. We might put okay this is where I want to find love. This is what I want love to look like. But really we can't plan for love. And then once love comes we can't uh choose against it you know because love is an overwhelming feeling and some people think it's uncontrollable yeah it's controllable but then it's an opportunity to like express yourself to feel loved i guess <laughs> that's the best word and then he said true love doesn't come to an end once some another steps away um i think that phrase is just trying to say that not just like humans things change things happen and sometimes when some things happen most times it's when the bad thing happen you know or maybe a good thing that doesn't favor the idea of what a person wants you know we can step away from each other but then we truly know that true love will not end once somebody steps up from the other person okay um the next one is love makes you vulnerable to the cold Love becomes you outside in a snowstorm, in a shaky, wobbly glow where there is no control, where you stand naked in bitter winds, searching for what has been called. Okay, that phrase to me is saying, love makes you take chances, it makes you try to do stuff, you know, like it makes you take a chance towards it. It calls you, you know, it calls you to try out to make love work as love becomes you outside in a snowstorm. To me, I just see snowstorm as I've never been in snow, but then I have a freezer in the house, and then when it's like on for like two days straight, you know how everything is blocked, and um, sometimes it becomes so overwhelming, the cold becomes so overwhelming, or you want to take something from the freezer. So, yeah, I feel like with that phrase, love becomes you outside the snowstorm, it's making you take a risk, like you're taking a risk to take cold stuff, blocked stuff from the fridge, you know. It's the same thing with love because you're outside in the cold storm. They might even have cold fingers. Okay. But then um, love makes it vulnerable to the cold. It becomes you outside in a snowstorm and it's shaking wobbly good. I've read that already. Meaning it makes you just take challenge. It makes you search for stuff to mention the thing. Then he says, uh, you um you would say that you would never possess true love. As most people say they never possess true love. But it was wrong at the start or that love is frozen over time even if love breaks even if love is rock hard it cannot be killed the water cannot be held back love will always find its own way even if a droppers have turned to ice okay i think that's really explanatory love is rock hard you know it cannot be killed even despite challenges despite problems despite afflictions despite happiness despite everything you know love is work hard and it always finds a way you know to show itself okay some people believe that love is a miracle uh yeah i feel love is a miracle because it's an opportunity you know to love to sh i don't know i think i'm looking for another word to use love for but then to express yourself to be thankful to be loyal to be faithful to be patient to be kind love pushes you so much it makes me remember a bible scripture that talks about the fruit of the spirit that talks about love love is patient love is kind love is i will look for that phrase and i'll put it in the description and i'll put it even for you guys to see okay but truly love is rock hard love is patient love is kind love is caring love does not do to others what it can do to himself you know so really if you love somebody you are not supposed to do what you feel will hurt you to that person and then you're supposed to like understand the person from their perspective yeah um, another phrase is um, there's no barren place on earth that love cannot grow regarding not even your heart no matter how strong-hearted somebody is 
you know once they have an opportunity to feel love once somebody shows them love to a certain extent love grows you know it might not be easy at first but then a long a long run love will grow okay so let me jump to another part of the book where i love yeah so um one of the most <laughs> one of the most uh, visible things during christmas is christmas lights christmas songs christmas trees you know they are symbols of christmas so i have a video on symbols of christmas it's in my other youtube channel kadi o k d i space o you guys can check it out it's talking about the um, the it's talking about the symbols of christmas and we have christmas trees christmas lights christmas wreaths you know christmas bells to mention a few so in during christmas one of the things that's popular everywhere is christmas songs and they play it on radio they play it on tv they play it during commercials to mention a few so here the mean the scene here is you know they were driving through the road and then there was so much quiet there was silence everywhere because you know they're preparing for divorce they don't know how to tell their kids yeah so the first song that played in the radio and so that they mentioned here in the book is just Feliciano last Feliz Navidad. So here in Nigeria, Feliz Navidad is like the first show of Christmas in Nigeria. Especially in Lagos, Nigeria. Feliz Navidad and Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. So um when I read this line, I don't know during the course of the silent video, you see me I smile like Feliz Navidad that that, that. You guys I love Christmas a lot. So and it says the local Christmas station played yet another version of Sour Lake Night. Silent Night is popular too here in Lagos, Nigeria, you know? Silent Night, Holy Night, all is bright, all is calm. Sleep in heavenly Guys, <laughs> Papa, what is Silent Night? But the point there is, yeah, Christmas. And Christmas time is wonderful. And yet, people are facing a lot of challenges during Christmas, financial um academic challenges personal challenges mental challenges i feel we should try as ourselves to show christmas share love and you know be the best you can be not only this christmas you know but then over time and um the last part i'm just going to mention here is a part where you know they were talking about going to court for divorce processing and um, there's a part that says, don't the lawyer told them, don't give control of the future of the family to the judge. And the lawyer said in our last consult, a judge doesn't want to be the parent. He or she wants you to work out a plan that's best for the kids. Okay? Do this now and you don't have to go through the pain in the courtroom. Okay, I've never been married. Um, okay. I'm not married now. Let me just say I'm not married. I'm not married now. Okay, so I really don't know how things work in marriage, you know, when it comes to challenges. But then I know that it's not easy. Sometimes things might get so hard. You need to question yourself, question your decision. But then going to divorce is like, or going for divorce is like a very, very big decisive you know, to make a choice so i don't have much to say to that but then reading this book i think it's giving me insights to divorcing and the concept of divorcing and marriage but then this quote caught my attention because really as a parent as a family you really don't want an outsider to make decisions for you even if it's the best decisions okay so once you can like, communicate with yourself and make decisions you know it just makes the process easy like he or she wants like you can read in this book he or she wants you to work out a plan that's best for your kids do this now and you won't have to go through the pain in the courtroom you don't want a judge a judge choosing who gets how much time with the kids you know man i just feel whatever we as adults as individuals do once the kids one kids are involved you really have to consider them more so guys this book is so interesting i'm so excited i can't wait to see the outcome i'm really so hopeful that they get back together because i'm a strong advocate for love i'm a strong advocate 
advocate for forever and always so guys thank you for watching this video do remember to like to share to subscribe and turn on the notification button also guys merry christmas and compliments of the season thank you for supporting kai books i'll see you in my next vlog next video